UV Express vans and traditional jeepneys will be allowed to ply the road starting next week, June 29. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB told lawmakers on Wednesday. Meantime, drivers of traditional jeepneys have prepared their vehicles, hoping that this plan would push through. Multicabs parked along Josdado Makapagal Boulevard in Pasay City were seen already set up with plastic barriers in anticipation of its supposed reoperation next week together with UV Express vans. LTFRB Chairman Martin Delga said slots will be open for UV on Monday followed by traditional jeepneys, but he did not provide an exact date for the return of jeepneys. With this and after numerous delays in their reoperation, jeepney drivers called out to authorities to finally stay true on their word. They expressed hope that they would really be allowed back on the road, adding that it would be a big relief as the previously mandated lockdown left them jobless for three months. Sana totoo yun at magtupad yan kasi masaya kami kung marinig kami na magiging totoo yung sinasabi, makabiyahe na. Kasi yan lang ang pag-asa talaga namin ma'am. Kita mo naman kami, wala kami talaga ibang mapagkunan kundi pagmamanay walang ng ganyan. Eh, maganda kung mangyayari ng gano'n dahil kami dito wala na rin kaming pang budget sa ano, pang araw-araw namin ano, pagkain. Eh, sa balita nung nakaraan, dapat may 31 pa. <coughs> eh, ngayon, nakailang extend na. Ang masasabi ko lang, gusto ko makabiyahe na kami ng maayos. They also noted that they are willing to follow health and safety protocols such as implementing social distancing in the vehicles and therefore having less passengers just so they can finally start earning again. Marvel Buena, a jeepney operator and national president of transport group Manibela, pointed out the importance of having traditional jeepneys back on the road. He cited that some drivers have resorted to begging in the streets, while one of the drivers he oversees was forced to leave his boarding house because he cannot anymore pay for rent. Ang kahirapan po kasi kung hindi pa magagalit yung mga congressman, hindi mo pa ipapakita ang tunay na kalagayan po ng uh... Uh, ating mga driver, ang ating mga chopper, hindi pa po tayo papayagan. Nakikita naman po natin na mamalimus na yung ating mga driver sa lansangan, nangihingi na ng pagkain, hindi na alam kung saan kukuhanin yung uh, ibubuhay sa kanilang mga pamilya. Valbuena said the LTFRB has yet to provide guidelines on fair pricing, but hopes there would be a fair hike to make up with the passenger limit. To ease the problem of possibly having less profit from the passenger capacity limit, Valbuena said he is willing to compromise as an operator by adjusting boundary payments accordingly, so that drivers may still get their fair share of the total earnings. Oh, oh. Siyempre, magbababa tayo. Kung, kung kalahati yung, yung pasahero, malamang, Nasa kalahati din po ang boundary niyan. Areas under general community quarantine are currently under phase 2 of transportation resumption since June 22, where public utility buses and modern jeepneys were allowed to reoperate in addition to trains, bus augmentation services, taxis, and transport network vehicle services allowed during the first phase. Meantime, Haridan Pakay, a jeepney driver, reiterated their call to the government to let PUV drivers ply the roads once again. Yagan naman kami bumiyahe. Hindi lang naman kayo ang may kaldero eh. Kami rin. Gusto rin naming mabuhay. Ubigay naman kayo ng pag-asa sa amin. Pabayahin niyo naman kami. For One Media Network, this is Julian Heronimo.